Happy New Year! Happy New Year! It is 2018, and that means 2017 is gone. And with that, we have some news. Well, actually, I have some news. You guys are gonna start seeing a lot more of Mike rather than just Mike and I. Um, I'm still gonna be here. I'm still gonna be in some videos, but Mike's gonna be in more videos than me. And the reason being is, well, there's a lot of life things that are getting in the way. I just recently got married, so I'm gonna, you know, I'm spending some more time with my wife and I'm gonna be starting a family. And I also have a full-time job on top of this. And not to mention that Mike lives really far away and we film at his house. So it's hard for me to like find time to travel for that as well. But I'm still gonna be here, um, just not as often as Mike though. With that said, we have a box here and this box was sent to us by, or lent to us rather, from our friends over at FLIR. And they gave it, us a brand new FLIR E8 to unbox and show you guys. Now, why do we have this? It's not necessarily a consumer product, but it's really cool. And we wanted to show you guys something really cool in the new year why not so let's just go ahead and see what we got because you guys don't even know what an e8 is i mean like what's an e8 we'll show you oh look at Ooh, that pretty that came in that comes in a case comes in a not bad. bad that's a rock solid plastic case too yeah it is this ladies and gentlemen is the FLIR e8 it is a thermal imagery camera that costs approximately three thousand dollars now what do you get for three thousand dollars in thermal imagery well it's got something that's called netd which stands for noise equivalent temperature difference what a mouthful. What does that mean? Well, basically what it means is that you can easily tell the difference between temperatures with less noise in the most basic sense of it. Whoo, it's got some latches right here. Ooh. Check that out. It's like oh, James nice. Bond right <laughs> here. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. Well, right here we got a box. A box within the box. Another box, we're unboxing into a box, and that's just how we do things here. Documentation and accessories. Got a big old thank you. What's in here? Ooh, got some plastic bits for, oh, this is for charging. Just different adapters, and we have the power brick itself. Okay. And a USB cable, and that's it. And here I just pulled out is, I found out is the battery charger and the battery, what do you know? And those just snap together and there's a USB port down there for it to plug in and charge. That's pretty cool, it's USB. And here we have the FLIR Whoa. E8. Wow, that is not as heavy as I look. Check that out. Oh, that is light, but it also doesn't feel cheap. This plastic feels quality and you even have like these nice rubbery bits around it as well that make it feel like a quality product. Oh, okay, so it's got a battery that, so it's got, you got two batteries, good. That's always nice. Hopefully it came charged. It's going. Let's see what we can see without our naked eye. Whoa. It's like a whole new dimension. You can clearly see our camera's nice and hot. Our lights are nice and hot. Steve's smoking hot over here. Hey, oh. Uh. <laughs> here, check that out. Oh, wow. Whoa. Now, something I want to see real quick. Move my hand away. And I Whoa. left the hand for it. Oh, left the what? handprint. What? <laughs> can I draw, can I write my name? No way. No way, that's some CIS stuff right there. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, what? <laughs> now check it out, check it out. Wicked. I'm trying to take a picture of it. I think I did. 
Whoa! <laughs> Speaking of pictures, according to Fleer, you can take about 500 pictures. That got us thinking, how many megabytes or how much memory is 500 pictures and so we started to dig into a little bit of it and we saw like the specifications and we found out that this camera only has 176 megabytes of internal memory <laughs> and i don't get that because we look look up here there's a flap you can open this up and you get USB. You don't get a memory card, you get this little USB port so you can plug it into your computer and get the photos off of it. Now, how hard would it have been to add, A, add more memory, or B, give you a storage option? That's one disappointment about this thing. And that's probably the only disappointment I have about it. Everything else is just incredible. This is really cool. <laughs> they even went so far to add Wi-Fi into here so that you can add the photos or just wirelessly put the photos from here onto your phone yeah which we can actually show you one interesting fact the camera has a 320 by 240 resolution the screen also has a 320 by 240 resolution so you get the exact whatever the camera sees you see directly on the screen mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, 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 import. Import. Go, 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 go. Ooh, yay. Okay, there's an uh, some weird shape my that Mike Google. made. There's my name. There's a handprint. And there's Mike. Looking pretty cool, right? Hey, can't see through my glasses. Yeah. You can't see through glass with thermal imagery. It didn't really, ah. Oh, well, that's interesting. How do they make the lens? Wow, okay. All right, so we just went outside. We took some pictures. We went walking around, turned on my car, put on the seat warmers, and uh, we got some new pictures to show you here. Here we have Steve's car, and these are the seat heaters inside of it. And it's really cool because you can see the whole layout of it. Where you see the whole squiggle along the bolsters. We also have, this is interesting. He has a, a rear defroster on his window, and one of them was broken. And we would have never mm. known that unless we had this camera to check it out. He, he broke he, my rear defroster? Yeah, I broke your rear defroster. And what else did I break? We saw the circuit breakers, and as you can see, one of them's pretty warm, and that's the one here in the studio. And it's kind of cool because if you left something on, apparently the other day I left a heater on in my my daughter's room and these guys had another camera they were checking it out with and they said hey why is this circuit breaker hot and so they went up there and noticed that the heater was on turned it off they would have never known the heater was on in that room un unless they had this camera the applications are endless for this oh, that's in the studio that's the light that's the camera another cool application you could use this for is say you want to check out the insulation in your house for heating cooling purposes whatever and you notice, oh, this one patch of wall has no insulation. Now you can go in and fix the insulation and you just save your money every single year, every time you're using the heater or the air conditioning. Oh yeah, you can see the studs. Yeah, that's nice, that's handy. And you can see how it's warmer in between the, uh, between each stub it's warmer because we got the insulation. And if you didn't have insulation, you'd notice that spot would be cold or hot, depending on what you're trying to do with it. Why didn't we have this when we were mounting that light? Oh man, seriously. You can clearly see the stud. <laughs> that would have helped. Well, Steve just brought up a good point. We were trying to hang lights in the room and we couldn't find the stud. We were having a lot of trouble trying to find a, a stud. <laughs> it's the most expensive stud finder ever. Yeah, there you go. Now you can <laughs> see it perfectly. Now you can't really see through the wall. When we pointed at the wall or the ceiling, or whatever, you're not looking at the stud. What you're seeing is a temperature difference because there's insulation, because there's a stud that is colder than the rest of the wall. You can tell there's temperature differences. Um, you can't see through glass, as you can tell with my glasses and Steve's glasses, that it, it stops directly there. Now, as you guys can tell, this really isn't a consumer product. Yes, you can get it yourself, and you can mess around, have fun with it. But really what it's for is for a business. This is for someone who 
wants to go around and check the insulation in your house, say they do air conditioning or heating and they can say, oh, this is why you're losing all this money a year. This is why it's so expensive. It's You can check to see if a wire is hot, running a lot of electricity, drawing a lot of power, and you didn't know something was drawing that much power. It, so the applications are really directly driven for businesses. One thing we didn't mention was battery life. You get about an hour, hour and a half with each battery. You could probably get up to two if uh, the brightness is down low on the display. We had a lot of fun playing with this thing and we're gonna be trying to get a more consumer friendly priced range version of this so that we can check it out and see how it compares with this one. Something that's more affordable for maybe something like a car mechanic can use. They can actually see all the components of what's hot and the temperature differences between them. Now, before we took this break, I told you guys we might be going to CES. Now we did, but I did. <laughs> and I have some cool videos to show you guys coming up and I'm really excited to show you what that was all about. I, I had a blast. I can't wait to go again next year and hopefully maybe Steve can go. I don't know. Yeah, maybe, maybe I could go and have some fun. That would be cool. And if there's any other thermal imagery cameras that you guys know of and you would like to see, please let us know down below in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. Have a happy new year and we'll see you next time on Unbox Authority.